Hello fellow gardening enthusiasts across the globe. This is the Urban Window Farmer, a humble gardener eager to share with you a garden DIY project that I recently been working on in my free time. Today we'll traverse through a narrative that began with a seemingly insurmountable challenge morphed into an unexpected adventure and culminated in a magnificent triumph of ingenuity and determination. This tale stands as a testament to the magic that can unfurl when one allows the spirit of creativity and innovation to take root in the garden. The genesis of this intriguing project was something relatively commonplace, the hunt for a sizable planter. To be precise, I was on a quest for planters larger than 15 gallons. However, my seemingly innocuous search quickly became an elusive chase. I traversed every nook and cranny of traditional gardening supply avenues, be it the quaint neighborhood nursery brimming with verdant life or the vast expanses of online gardening portals. Nevertheless, the same disheartening refrain echoed from each corner discontinued. It was quite a revelation to discover that every place that once boasted the availability of 40 gallon plastic nursery pots had now cast these practical giants into oblivion. The absence of a seemingly simple item appeared to be curtailing my ambitious gardening aspirations. Frustrated and despondent, I was on the brink of abandoning my quest. But life in the garden has taught me that the most perplexing conundrums often mask fertile opportunities. And so, it happened in this case, my unwavering persistence led to a hidden treasure trove of the most unexpected of cyberspaces. The bustling Facebook marketplace, among an ocean of posts, one caught my eye, an advertisement for the sale of barrels from a brewery going out of business. At that precise moment, I looked beyond their original intent as mere beer containers. I saw potential planters, robust, rustic, and spacious, an embodiment of the larger-than-life planters I had sought. However, the joy of this serendipitous find was somewhat dampened by the realization of the logistical challenge that lay ahead. The barrels due to their significant size and weight, were not going to fit in the trunk of my car. The prospect of their transportation seemed daunting. Fortunately, Providence lent a hand in the form of my trusty car being equipped with a tow hitch. I rented a trailer from U-Haul, and I was able to transport nine barrels in a single trip, a resounding success. Once nestled safely in the confines of my garden, the barrels stood awaiting their metamorphosis from humble containers to functional planters. This marked my maiden voyage into the world of barrel repurposing, a journey accompanied by moments of apprehension and uncertainty. Donning the dual roles of a safety conscious handyman and an imaginative gardener, I took on the task with a five and a half inch Ryubi circular saw in an array of protective gear. I positioned each barrel on an upside down wheelbarrow. I used it as a makeshift barrel rotator, making the task of cutting five barrels into halves a manageable feat. I cannot stress enough the importance of safety when dealing with power tools. I urge my fellow gardeners always to practice safety and ensure proper protective measures are in place before embarking on any DIY adventure. After the rigorous barrel cutting session, the next stage involved dealing with the residual beer smell that stubbornly clung to the barrels. Acknowledging that the success of a project often lies in its minute details. I allowed the barrels to air out for several days. Following this, a thorough hosing down helped rinse away much of the lingering beer aroma, ensuring the barrels offered a clean, neutral environment for their new occupants. Being a staunch advocate of organic gardening, it was imperative to steer clear of any toxic substances during the cleaning process. 
The solution, quite literally, was in my kitchen cupboard. Baking soda, with its gentle abrasiveness, proved to be the perfect cleaning agent for my purpose. Its ability to break up the stubborn beer residue was commendable, and I harnessed the power of a scrubbing brush drill bit to thoroughly scrub the insides of the barrels. The outer walls of the barrel were easier to clean. They were mostly covered in dirt and dust. It's important to note that the goal was not to erase the barrel's history entirely, but to celebrate and preserve it. A distressed barrel, I find, holds a unique aesthetic appeal, and I aim to maintain the rustic charm throughout the transformation process. With the barrel scrubbed clean and dust-free, the task of drilling drainage holes followed. The process of drilling into the thick, sturdy oak barrels was a bit challenging. The drill bit heated up quite rapidly, suggesting the need for smaller pilot holes before progressing to larger ones. Guided by the preferences of my future citrus trees, which have a fondness for good drainage, I settled on five holes as the ideal number. The following stage, known as the protection phase, necessitated a delicate balance between preservation and safety. I consciously avoided wood stains due to their potential to leach into the soil and contaminate my future plant residence. Instead, I opted for a food grade beeswax, the kind typically used for butcher blocks and cutting boards. This beeswax, when worked into the wood against and with the grain, gave the barrels a slightly darker hue. This not only enhanced the intricate details of the barrels, but also added a layer of protection. The metal bindings weren't left out and received a thorough coating of the wax to shield them from the weather's elements. The next step involved strategic positioning of the barrels within a deer fenced area. This was an essential measure to protect the soon to be planted citrus trees given that deer harbor a known fondness for citrus leaves. The barrels were then filled with a diverse blend of soils, providing the perfect environment for an orange and lime tree to settle into their new homes. Upon watering the trees, I could almost hear a sigh of contentment. However, the project was not quite complete. The last step was to close the fence. In retrospect, this unusual journey started with the quest for large planters and culminating in the transformation of beer barrels is a testament to the boundless potential of imaginative gardening. The hope in sharing this narrative is to inspire fellow gardeners to perceive roadblocks not as dead ends but as a catalyst to creativity, sparking unique solutions that enhance the beauty of our shared passion. As I sign off, I invite you to learn and to let your green fingers explore uncharted horizons, to breathe life into your gardens, and to let the magic weave stories of beauty and triumph. Remember, the possibilities are truly endless when we cultivate a spirit of ingenuity and resilience. Until we meet again, happy gardening.